A New Jersey teen is suing her parents for college tuition and her and parents around the country are debating whether it's even appropriate or whether she's simply entitled. Live at Five's family attorney Sonia Kaufman joins us now with the answer. This scares me. It's a very interesting case. Yeah. The court in New Jersey is struggling with just that issue. Are we setting bad precedent that a child who feels entitled could sue their parent, say, for a new Xbox? Or exactly. Maybe you draw the line. Yeah. When I first heard about this case, I thought, who would ever bring that? Because in Texas, a parent can't be obligated to support their child after the age 18 and high school graduation. So every so, all parents now just sat back and went, Phew! Yes, <laughs> a big Texas, sigh of relief. We should have a <laughs> sigh of relief. But in New Jersey, the law is interesting. It says that a parent can have to pay child support and college tuition as long as that child is dependent on the parent financially and within the sphere of the parent's influence. Wow. Sounds like a very vague standard to apply. But so still no determination at this point. Well, the, the young lady dismissed her case today because she's moved back home, but the court was eventually going to have to decide whether her parents had voluntarily cut her off and abandoned her, forced her out of the house, or whether she left on her own to become independent. So it was going to be a very fact-intensive question, and the judge wisely said to this family, you need counseling, mm -hmm. because it sure seemed more of a parenting issue than a legal issue at that point. And I wonder whether the friends that actually supported the daughter yes. will actually remain friends with the parents after this is all said and Don't done. Don't you know, I wonder that too, because they ask for 13000 in attorney's fees to be reimbursed. They also ask for 5200 in private school tuition to be reimbursed. So that tells me maybe the friend's parents paid a semester of her uh -huh. tuition and maybe they should get that back. But the attorney's fee sounds like a real stretch. Yeah, it does. Yeah, interesting. interesting. But glad we live in Texas and we don't have to worry about Parents that. Parents breathe a sigh of relief, yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely. And don't worry about having to pay for that Xbox because kids, once they're 18, they're out of there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, on to some of our viewers' exactly. questions. This person says, I'm wanting to change my son's last name to mine. I'm the only one on the birth certificate since his dad didn't sign it at the hospital. His dad's never been in his life and has no contact with him. Is it an easy thing to do, the name change, or do I have to hire a lawyer? I think the answer there depends on whether the dad's parental rights were ever established. If so, then he would have to be notified of the name change. If no one's rights were ever established, then it is simply a name change. Okay, easy enough. Yeah. This person wants to know if you're not married and you want somebody in particular by your side in ICU, do you have to get something notarized? I think that depends on the policies of the hospital, on who they will allow in intensive care. Um, someone simply being there is a simpler question than someone consenting to medical treatment and making medical decisions. Okay. And for that issue, I would get a medical power of attorney to authorize that person to do that. Okay. What are the first steps of gaining custody of your child following the end of a relationship? A lot of questions have to be answered there. First of all is, has anybody's paternity been established? Does anybody have rights to that child? If not, then if the father's rights have never been established, the mother has custody and possession, but she also has no child support. So, so. a lot of questions to be answered before you before, can answer. Yeah. All right, and unfortunately we are out of time, but we'll get to those other questions next time. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much for stopping by. And if you have a question, of course, you can always let our attorney, Sonia Kaufman, answer your questions. Fax them 892-7305. Email them at laf at kfdm.com, or you can post those questions on our KFDM News Facebook page.